Hi and welcome to Conversion Graphs and Rate of Change. Just before we start, a quick reminder that there is a notes jotter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. So our first conversion graph here is showing um, how to uh, convert a number of people into a cost for organising a party at a hotel. And so this graph can be used to find the cost in pounds for different numbers of people. Judith has £700 to spend on a party. We need to find the greatest number of people she can have at her party. Now in this case, what we need to do is whenever we are trying to use a conversion graph, we need to be thinking about straight lines which we can draw onto the graph and read values from. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a line on my graph from £700 because that is what we've been told we have to spare. So we're going to draw a line straight across from 700 until it hits the conversion graph and then from that exact same point I'm going to draw down and what I need to do is I just need to read off what that value actually is so for the number of people here this looks like it's just a little bit more than 34 but the key here is it was the greatest number of people she can have at her party. So even if the answer here was 34.2, I couldn't have 34.2 people. I could have 34 people. That is the maximum number of people I can have at the party. In terms of Simon, he is organising a party for 20 people. We need to use the graph to find the cost. And so we're going to convert this time the number of people, which is 20, and we're going to convert that by drawing a straight line and I just need to make sure that it is a straight line and there we go straight up from 20 to the conversion graph and then draw straight across from that point in order to read off the cost and so if I draw across now this uh, may be slightly inaccurate uh, given the way that I'm doing this but uh, all we need to do is we need to see that that is three squares up from the 400 there are uh, five squares representing 100 pounds so each square is 20 and so for me this is 460 pounds for those 20 people now using the same graph I also want to take into account the final question it says that more than 20 people want to go to Simon's party. Work out the cost for each extra person. Now what I just want to look at here are some of the key features of a conversion graph. Now this is a straight line graph. Now we know um, from previous videos that straight line graphs are in the form of y equals mx plus c. And the key here is that m is the gradient of the line and that C is the y-intercept. That's what we've called them in uh, previous videos. And in this case, those two values both mean something very important about the situation. And so in this case, the y-intercept is right here. It is 100. Now what that means is that no matter what, this is the price for zero people so no matter how many people you have you must pay 100 pounds and so this is what is called a fixed cost no matter what you are going to spend a minimum of 100 pounds and so the fixed cost is your y intercept and so in this case 100 pounds now the gradient of the line well, that is what we call a rate of change. It means for every one to the right, how far up do we go? And in this case, one to the right would be one person. And so for every one person, how much does it cost? Well, that is the gradient of the line. Now, if you are trying to find a gradient, the key area is to look for points on the graph where you are, your line is right on the corner of a square. And therefore, this first one at 0, 100 is actually very useful. If I find another one, I could say here that at 4,800, that is another point where I can read exactly the value. And therefore, in order to find my gradient, all I want to do is draw myself a triangle. 
and you should always be trying to draw that triangle as large as you possibly can just to try to get your answer for your gradient as accurate as you can and so going across that is 40 people if we go up well this has gone up 700 pounds it's gone from 100 up to 800 and so if i want to find the gradient the gradient is the cost per person in this case and so that is going to be 700 over 40. Now 700 over 40, well, if we wanted to uh, work that out, we could divide them both by 10, it'd be 70 over four. And 70 over four, if we place that into a little bus stop, four goes into 70 once with three left over, four goes into 30, 17 times with two left over. So we need an extra decimal in here. So four goes into 20, five times and therefore every person is costing 17 pounds and 50 pence so this is a really important thing with a conversion graph the gradient of that line that is your rate of change in this case cost per person the intercept well that is the fixed cost associated so let's see if we can uh, add that to the exam question so edxl november 2018 foundation paper one We've been told that Tom uses his lorry to deliver bricks. You can use his, this graph to find the delivery cost for different distances. For each delivery, there is a fixed charge plus a charge for the distance. How much is the fixed charge? Well, there is our key word. Fixed charge meaning the amount we would do, uh, pay regardless of how far we, we are actually delivering the bricks. And so that comes from our Y intercept. It is the amount that we would uh, charge even if we were going zero miles. And so in this case, that value is 10 pounds. Now it tells us that Tom makes two deliveries of bricks. The distance of one delivery is 20 miles more than the distance of the other delivery. Work out the difference between the two delivery costs. Now for this one, all we really need to think about is again, straight lines. Now I can already see from that, uh, what we've just done, that a delivery of zero miles would cost ten pounds, and so all I really need to do is find out how much a delivery twenty miles further would cost, and therefore I want to draw a line at twenty miles. And if I read that across, it comes to forty pounds, and so the difference in those two costs, well, from ten to forty, would be thirty pounds. Now, if you are not sure that that is definitely correct, well, you could just do the same process again, this time going from, um, from 20 to 40. If I draw my line going straight up, I'm a little bit off that time. Need to just be a little bit further along. Um, and so that has come out at 70 pounds for a 40 mile journey. Well, if I have a look at that from 40 to 80, that is 30 pounds again it's worked for each of them it's a straight line so it should work for all of them the difference between the two deliveries would be 30 pounds now in this case in the exam question what you would be expected uh, would be expected to see those lines drawn onto the graph and really we should also be showing our working in order to get that so it would be 40 take away 10 equals 30 or if we were using the black and red lines that would be 70 take away 40, which also equals 30 pounds.